Hey everybody, welcome back to our behind the scenes blog. Today we're going to take you through all of the things that we built for the Miller Home renovation in episode 5 of Hometown Takeover. One of the projects we're most proud of in this house would have to be the Live Edge ash countertops in their kitchen. Everything about this project from tree to counter was completely local. The tree was cut down right here in Morgan County and then the log was sliced into slabs, kiln dried and processed at our shop out in Weldona. We joined the slabs, did the rough cuts, and sanded everything down at the shop before we took them on over to the site. Due to the unique shape and appliance cutouts, the final assembly and a finish work all had to be done in the house. Jason spent a ton of time in the truck that week driving back and forth at all hours of the night to make sure the finish coats were perfect. Finished work is one of Jason's favorite parts of any project and he was not going to leave this one to chance. The scary part about a kitchen install is that the appliances have to go in after paint and finish. That means that if anything is off, the cutouts have to be reworked and the finish process starts all over again. It takes us a solid week to do finish work and we did not have time for a redo. So we all took a huge sigh of relief and did a happy dance when the oven slash stovetop slid into place without a hitch. So we'd be remiss to talk about the countertops without mentioning the cabinets themselves. We do not fancy ourselves cabinet makers by any means, but the team needed some help getting these done by a revealed day. So our guys stepped up to the plate. We reconfigured the cabinets to allow for the new appliance placements and we built all new front doors for the faces. But please don't call us asking for custom cabinets. One and done. Moving into the dining room, Jenny and her team requested a dark classic farmhouse table for staging the home's reveal. We were pretty excited for this one because tables are our jam. We utilized some old reclaimed hemlock barnwood for the top to give it that worn in, well used, cozy feel and then a double pedestal base underneath to class it up. It's a really beautiful piece and it's actually for sale. You can see it in person at our showroom over in Westminster. By the time we got to the living room, everybody was getting a little bit punch drunk, but there was no time to slow down. Our final project inside the house was this gorgeous live edge sliding barn door in the living room. We picked walnut for the door because, let's face it, walnut is just hard to beat. The grain and character in this wood makes it pop off the wall, and the unique shape gives it way more of a focal point than your standard barn door. Even the header that the rail is mounted on draws your eye in. We were super happy with the way that this door turned out, and we hope to do many more like it in the future. Right before the big reveal, we moved to the outside of the Miller home for the very final touch. We built and installed some cedar shutters to bookend the windows up front. This really helps set off the bright blue farmhouse paint and draw your eye into the beautiful flower boxes. Even though the work was hard, seeing the final product and getting to hang out with Dave and Jenny Mars made everything worth it. We were so thankful for the opportunity to work with them that we had to send just a little something home with Dave to remind him where he comes from. He is a Colorado native after all, you know. With just one more episode left this season in Hometown Takeover, we're coming to a close really fast. Make sure you tune in this Sunday for the big season finale.